So apparently this is one of the most popular projectors on Amazon by Hapron. I haven't heard of this brand before. It's currently on sale for $99, but I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. As you can see here, this is model H1 but it's got native 1080p resolution. This will work on a screen up to 200 inches. You can see they do include a 100 inch projection screen. It also has Bluetooth 5.1, so you can connect headphones or an external speaker to this as well. They're also advertising about 10,000 hours for the lamp life and 10,000 to one contrast ratio. HDMI cable is included. It looks like a pretty typical power cable. Pretty small remote control, sort of reminds me of the remote from my Fire TV stick. But you've got most of your controls on here. Volume up and down, mute, source, home, back button, directional arrows. You can also rotate the screen, source, menu, and OK button as well. The projector itself is fairly compact, has a matte plastic finish pretty much all the way around. You've got a lens cap here on the front, remote control sensor, a little more unique design on here with a two-tone black and white. Looks pretty nice in person. Over here on the side is where you plug in the power, access to your filter, speaker on the back, along with all of your connections, your remote control sensor, two USB ports, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, audio video, and one HDMI port. Looks like you've got a spot here in the middle if you wanna put this on a tripod or mount it to a ceiling. You've also got an adjustable foot here right in the center. Manual focus and keystone adjustment. And then you've got a few buttons here, directional arrows, okay button, back, menu, source, and power. Surprisingly, it actually feels like pretty good quality considering the price. Once you get the projector hooked up, surprisingly, this one's bright enough that you could probably use this with all the lights turned on. Although obviously it looks better with all lights turned off. It's a really simple home screen setup. You've got audio, video, HDMI shortcuts over on the left, and then shortcuts to movie, music, photo. In the settings, you can adjust color temperature, noise reduction, projection zoom from 75 to 100%. There's different sound modes, and you can change things like projection mode to flip the screen, Bluetooth settings, reset, and software update through USB. As far as screen quality goes, I feel like this projector punches above its weight class. The manual focus does take a little bit to get just right, but overall I feel like the picture quality looks sharper and better than I was expecting. Just watching movies and TV shows, you'll notice it's got nice contrast, colors seem to be fairly accurate, and once you connect your streaming device of choice, everything looks pretty good on here in my test. There's really only one main downside to this projector, and that's going to be that the audio seems to be lower than other projectors I've tested. It may depend on what types of stuff you're watching, but I had to turn the volume up to 75 to even hear things halfway decent. Most of the others, I rarely have to turn up past 50 or the halfway mark to get things nice and loud. Good thing is you can connect a Bluetooth speaker or headphones, so probably not going to be a deal breaker for everyone, but you can even use this projector for practice presentations. As you can see here, I connected my iPad and overall everything looks pretty nice and the text on here looks nice and sharp. I also played some mobile games like Asphalt 9 from my iPad as well and it actually looks really nice on here. Same thing with retro games. It's just nice to watch things and play games on a larger screen like this. And yeah, there's going to be some lag or delay here and there depending on what games you're playing but wasn't too bad in my testing. I was actually surprised I could play Rocket League on here too using my my Xbox Series X. Sure, it's not going to be gaming PCs or if you have your Xbox connected to a 4K TV, but still better than I was expecting. So really only a couple things that could be improved with this. The big one being the speaker volume. It would also be nice if this had an electric focus now that those are becoming more popular on budget projectors. And yeah, you're going to notice the fan noise on here since the speakers aren't really that loud. I don't think it's really an issue if you turn it up loud enough, but just something I thought I would point out but I feel like the picture quality is pretty good overall. And yeah, I could see why this one is one of the more popular projectors out there.